Generic greetings, or as Obi-Wan may prefer, hello there, and welcome to Star Wars Battlefront 2 of all things. Hmm, today's beverage is a lovely cup of tea. So, Star Wars Battlefront 2, obviously we're talking about the newer 2017 release rather than the original 2005 release, is now I'm happy and indeed surprised to say good. I didn't think I'd ever say that. I've always enjoyed the Battlefront games because they are essentially a casual arcade Star Wars shooter, and that's pretty much all I wanted out of them, and... When the newer one came out, the newer number one, uh, 2016 I think, came out, I really enjoyed that in spite of all of its issues there, but it did ooze the overall look, sound and feeling of Star Wars, it just nailed the overall um, aesthetic of it and everything about it, and I was very excited for number two, and then we heard some pre-release grumblings, and sure enough when it came out the campaign was mediocre, lacklustre, forgettable, shall we say, there wasn't all the modes in there, there was a lot of balance problems, I I mean, if you played originally, uh, you may remember the um, forward rolling officer with the four shot brap gun, which would pretty much win any fight. And yeah, that was a bit of an issue. And then there was the whole star card controversy. Not so much the fact that you had these things called star cards where you could change up your characters, but more the way you got them, which was loot boxes. And not that you could uh, just get them from random loot boxes and play, it's that you could then buy these boxes. So it wasn't a, well, you could argue it wasn't a pay-to-win system, but at the same time, it was certainly a pay-to-get-a-boost, and if you paid, say, 100 generic units of currency, and you looked out and got all of the best cards for Darth Vader, you would just be statistically better than any other Darth Vader unless they'd spent that amount of money or got extremely lucky. And because of that, it was rightly panned, and yeah... It deserved all the flack it got. I still picked it up and wanted to try it, and indeed enjoyed it in spite of its flaws, but those shone through very quickly. They had to do this whole hack where they ripped out the loot box stuff so you couldn't buy it, and that just caused more problems than it was worth, and yeah, basically, after maybe 20, 30 hours, I was done. I was, I was oot, and that didn't touch it pretty much until about three weeks ago, where, for whatever reason, I was in the Star Wars mood, and I thought, I'm just going to fire this back up. I own it. I don't need to pay for it. I'm just going to fire it up and give it a go. And I'm glad I did because the game has really undergone transformation. There's been a lot more stuff added. Actually, I know why I went back in because the droid the car was be has brought out. So you've got destroy your droids. I'm in. <laughs> I'm all about that. Um... So I, I, I thought I'd give it a go, and wow, was I very, very, very pleasantly surprised. There's still the star card system in, which is in no way, shape, and form a perfect system. Essentially, the way you have it now is you play your characters, and as you level up, you gain certain unlock points, and then you can upgrade your cards. However, you still have to get to a certain level before you can unlock and upgrade them all. So if you've played, say, I don't know, 30 hours of the specialist, and someone new comes in, you, are, you just have more options, and you have more or um just better stats than them. So you may just have all purple cards, which are better. Well, you can see here. So melee damage, 125 over 67. So uh, you're, just, you're just statistically better. I still don't like that. However, it's a lot better than it was previously. There seems to be a lot more balance when it comes to uh, the cards as well as the weapons and such. In, and again, the weapons are still only four for each class and you still can't give any uh, upgrades for the very first one. And like, for example, this gun here, this is the very base assault weapon. There is actually several of them in the game because it's based on all the different factions obviously multiple factions multiple timelines now so it's still got its issues there but the main thing is it's still Star Wars and it's really really good fun and it's not got any pseudo gambling garbage in it I mean there's still stuff that you can buy for example um you can still buy the uh, different skin or credits for skins and things like that but um for the most part it is just fine and we are now running towards some command posts so let's just see how this one goes so obviously we are on Camino here and I have a forward roll which now you can't just spam to win uh, you actually slow down when you do it and I have uh, a What's it, an A280 gun? I think it is something like that. Can I jump over here? Nope, there we go. And we're going to capture this point. So, we'll probably end up uh, on this centerpiece here, trying to take over that thing, because that's generally where you start. That's generally where the fight begins, although we might just put a couple of shots over there, because there's no such thing as uh, maximum ammo in the game. Anyway, yeah, so, <laughs> since the game's 
I guess we could call it original demise when it absolutely um, got absolutely hit hard, which it, again, it deserved to have that. Um, it's gone, as far as I can tell from strength to strength, there's been a lot more, there's been more heroes added. I wouldn't say a lot more. You've got Grievous, Obi-Wan, Anakin, um, among other ones, I think. Uh, we've also got some more maps. We've got more modes. In fact, uh, it's just been uh, announced recently about the different modes uh, we've got coming. We've got a single player, like instant action mode. We've got a co-op mode coming, a new map. We're going to have episode 9 content. Hopefully we'll see some more stuff. I would love to see more weapons and some more, a uh, couple more heroes and whatnot. And uh, the sort of, uh, oh, the heroes and villains is really cool, but the Starfighter one, uh, it's still, it's still fine. It's still okay. I can't really get into it personally, but maybe that's like you say, just personal preference. But um, yeah, who would have thought that a game was, that was, well, looked to be uh, dead and dying would uh, come to this, which is, um, that was close. Uh, which is a very, very, very nice surprise. And um, I, I would assume that pretty much what happened is they realised that, yep, the game's pretty much gone. We can now do what we want with it. And then because they haven't got this basically uh, boardroom, this boardroom sort of um, order to just make a load of money, they can just focus on making a good game, which is, I'm, I'd like to think that's what happened. But um, either way, I'm not too sure of the reasons. And uh, if I'm honest, I don't really care. I'm just happy that uh, we've got a fairly decent Star Wars arcade shooter experience without having to pay for it. Um, right, so let's get on with actually playing a bit more of this here. Let's go through this door, which is, yeah, it does open. That's fine. We can see that they've taken point B. Oh, shit. Ooh, that's a sniper. Kirk roll, Kirk roll, Kirk roll. And this is going to be all kinds of bad. What if I can get up here? And uh, to be fair, to be fair, I'm pretty sure in episode two. Um, oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's place it. <laughs> oh god, that's all kinds of bad pussy trip on there. I'm gonna go on more speed and get across here quickly and hide, hide, hide doors. Please close. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure in episode two it was um, very difficult for um, Django Fest, that's right, to get up the side of that. He has to use his little claw things. Aha, we now have some battle points that we can spend on Arc Trooper or Jeff Trooper. No, I'm not gonna bother. We'll go to Assault there. Um, oh, and now you might be able to see here, we can now spawn on the different points. This has been added pretty much in the last couple of hours uh, as of the time recording, so yeah, let's switch over to Shotgun because I think there's a guy that wants to be shot in the back of the head here. I don't, maybe want is the wrong word, but um, perhaps will be forced to receive, I think is a better term. So yeah, you can take some of that. You can take some of that. Uh, let's have a thermal detonator that way. I'm going to Kirk roll back over and, uh, oh, well, I've just got a 200 assault kills, which gives me some more upgrades. As That's what I was saying earlier about it's not a perfect system because... Yeah, you still have to uh, you still have to play more to get more stuff. But some people like that, don't they? Some people like the sort of carrot to go for it. And I don't mind it. And was that a blue lightsaber? Um, I hope so. I'm I'm gonna go with ah. Okay, there's okay. No, no, that is that is a lightsaber, and um, I'm not entirely sure it is. A good sign, though. Um, let's get rid of that thing there. I've got this uh, pretty much a vector, um, and it's... Ow, 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 ow. That gun's better. Oh, that's a Grievous. That is a general Grievous. Right, okay. Shotgun and charge in. Let's go. Oh, we're Grievous. Come on. Come on, block this, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he, did, he did block it. I find that the best way to deal with... Um, sometimes, anyway, sometimes the best way to deal with someone with a glowing stick that can chop your half is to actually go towards them because they're faster than you anyway. You might as well get the advantage in and get a couple of hits in, especially by rolling forward. And um, speaking of rolling, uh, rolling this way is pretty much not getting me anywhere, but I have got almost enough points for Chewy, uh, which would be quite good, although I'm pretty much terrible at using most of the heroes of this era. Um, I do like to play... Uh, Maul. I don't mind playing Maul at all. I prefer Boss, Can Solo, Palpatine. Um, yeah, ooh, good grief. I'm back here again, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, so I'm only, I'm, I'm basically, I've got farm on now. I'm letting them just farm it. Yeah, we've got this now contextual spawning system where you can spawn on points you control and also still on your team. So uh, brilliant. That guy's been shot in the face. I will now charge forward. There we go, and you can see we've got an overheat system, but with an active reload, so I can reload there, and I gain full uh, reload. If you hit it in the uh, the yellow, you gain pretty much like unlimited, uh, unlimited firepower. I'm going to go back here, and <laughs> oh, that's an assassin droid. That's an assassin droid. Kill it. Kill the fire. Kill the fire. Um, now this is not good. See, this thing is called a stinger pistol, and what it does is do damage over time, which is not something I want. I'll have this uh, gun instead. I can hear people coming around this corner. When in doubt, put that there. 
That's a Maul. That's a Darth Maul. That, oh, that's a that, that's a General Grievous and a Darth Maul, which is um, suboptimal. Right? Can I go for Chewie? I can go for Chewie. Uh, what else can I go? Oh, Yoda as well. Ooh, do I really want to let the team down by picking one of these? Uh, yes, go for Yoda. So I've got almost no cards for this one. The whole Star Card level up thing is, like I say, better than the original, but it's more like. Yeah, it's better, but what could be worse? Um, well, what could be worse is just totally pay to win. So what have we got? We've got Unleash. Unleash the Force in corner in front of Yoda. Presence. Um, heal himself and then dash attack. Got you. Okay. So that's fine, I think. Anyway, um, in order to get the cards, you have to play more. And since I don't get often get to play the heroes, unless you do heroes and villains, naturally, uh, it takes you a while to level up. So, yeah, there's the issue there. And I don't think I'm going to do very well against um, a lot of the others. I'm looking around for other heroes, and I don't know if there's, there is any. I'm just hoping that I can... Uh, just hoping I can... not die as quick as what we may expect here. I'm not going in that way. That's... Uh, I could just block. I could just block the shots. Who have we got? We've just got random... I don't think there's much up here. Oh, that's a Grievous. I can't deal with a Grievous. Actually, I can. Hang on. No, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna get out of there. I can't deal with that. I can't deal with the Grievous. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just. A little, I'm just a little goblin. I just. I'm, I'm just. I'm just in the wrong setting. I just want to be in Middle Earth. All right, run off. Um, actually, I can heal myself. I don't want to get feed on. I don't want to start feeding them. And there we go. There's some more battle points. And let's see if we can go and get them. Ah, there's our hero over there. That's what I was. Bye. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for our other hero because if I'm sticking with them, hopefully we'll be able to do a lot better. Although I'm currently no longer seeing that hero, so I have no idea where they are. If they are, oh, there we are. They're over on the right hand side. Is that um, Mannequin Skywalker? I think it might be Mannequin. Uh, I'm not too sure either way. Uh, let's see what we can do here. So, hi there. Right, who we got? Where they are? Where they are? Right, not that way. Not that way. They're going to go this way. Okay, I am going to follow them. Don't know what that was, but I'll accept it. Uh, let's heal people. Let's heal up and um, kill those two. Go back in here and let's see if we can deal with. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say I'm guessing there's a Jedi in here because of the people running away all the time. Oh, sorry, or uh, R O P F or something. Um, there is uh, bots in here, I believe. So we're capturing B. Uh, I should point out Galactic Supremacy, the way it works is you, if you have the majority of the command points, you gain, uh, if you have the majority of the command points, you gain a, like a percentage going up. Once it gets to 100%, you then board transports and go to the ship, and then you have to take that ship out. So that should be interesting. I'm just going to keep following, running around here. That's a, I was going to say that's a jet trooper, isn't it? Yeah. Um, where is, where's our hero at? There he is. Now then, how is it going? I'll read. No. No. Okay. They don't want to talk. They're, they're, they're offensive. Uh, behind. So, we're going to go back outside where it's raining, because that's what you want when you've got a glowing stick like this. And we'll see if we can take C. I don't think it would be unreasonable to assume that we can take C. And who's that behind us? Ah, that is a mall, I think. No, it's a Dooku. It's a Dooku. Okay, I can deal with a Dooku. Like so. Okay, so we got round the back and we took them out. Excellent. So we now have uh, at least one hero uh, less to deal with. Let's go right in the centre and take this point. There we go. No, don't think there's much around here, is there? There we are. So we're up to 65% or and they're on 3%, so we are doing quite well. Don't know if I'm going to do a full completion of this video, but I really just wanted to... I guess bring to light that um, if you've played this before and really didn't like it, then now may be the time to reinstall it. Especially considering a lot of the content that they bring as well, the single player and co-op content, that might be for you. Also, yeah, uh, if you want to pick it up for cheap, I think, um, I don't know if it's on sale now, but I, I have a friend that's picked this up. I think he picked it up for about four pounds, four generic units of currency, uh, and I think you'll get your money's worth out of that one. Oh, is that a droid just sitting there? It is. Sorry about that, sir. I really didn't want to do that, but... Um, well, you know, you are on the opposite team and all that, and the robots that don't feel anything. 
Uh, that's what we said when we chopped C-3PO's arm off. Uh, right, so we've got uh, this point getting taken. We've got E, which is to be taken, and also some people probably running this way. So I'm going to go this way and then run to the left. Uh, although there is a lot of people running this way anyway. Do I bother with it? What's contested? What is contested? Not much, and that's a big drilling thing going into there. Uh, I'm going to go to C simply because I'm a boat. No, uh, simply because I want to... That's a mall. I can probably deal with a mall. <laughs> Did I just get launched off the edge? Uh, thank you, mall. Yes, I did get lost, launched off the edge. I'm going to back up. Um, d discretion, better part of Valor, and... Dioxys, is that? I can't see that infiltration droid. Where's he gone? Hmm, that is a problem. Right, I'm going to run away. Yeah, wow, there's a lot of them. Right, let's get over here. Get some heals on. I'd rather stay alive and run away than... Well, not. And it looks like... Is that Dooku or someone went down? Someone like that. Right, we're in. Capturing C. 79% out of 7. Yeah, I need to have a sip of beverage. Let me have a sip of beverage. Another sip of beverage. Oh, okay, today's beverage is blue milk. Should have made that uh, reference right at the start of the video. My mistake. Okay, so we are now down to... Um, Oh, you hide me on the console, are you? This isn't Rainbow Six Siege, hiding behind a bar. Cheeky peek angles. Um, right, so we've taken point C, just B to take, and what's going on here? Ah, that's a, one of those fellas, and um, push him, and he's dead. One of the things I've found as well, the heroes are still powerful. They're always really, really powerful, and rightly so. We'd probably be very upset if one person with a E11 could take out Darth Vader. However, what I've also found is if you do something incredibly stupid, like, for example, if I ran this fella into a group of t uh, two droid cars and just put my back to them, or even just a couple of people, you will die very quickly. Um, yeah. You are powerful, but you're not invulnerable. So B's getting taken. Oh, that's a Grievous. I don't know if I can deal with Grievous. I don't think I can deal with Grievous. No, 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 no. Bye. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Uh, I did I did damage him. And he's running towards me. Don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I think he knows I'm on low health. But um, little green frog has got some legs on him. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, and that's a grievous again. Leave me alone. <laughs> And run away once again. Yes, discretion bet part of Valor. I think I've been playing this character for the longest I've ever played him. Um, right, hang on, then we've got some heroes in now. Right, we've got him down. There we go. Picking your fights, picking your fights. Oh, good grief. I, just, I went right past him. He's got me. He's got me. Oh, well played. Oh, I'm, I'm going to blame it on him having all of the purple star cards and me having none. <laughs> I don't think that's going to wash. I think it's just general um, bad play by myself. Don't have enough battle points for another one. Uh, let me see. What, have I unlocked any other cards? Uh, no. Um, okay, over to specialists. So we'll try for... Um, oh, we actually notice here we are actually going onto these ships. So you have to go up to this and press G. And then you board the transport ship. Uh, and you gain some points for it. So 500 points. And now we're going to go to the ship. And then do all of that. Which has been changed as of this patch. So you now have a time limit. I have fought rounds before this. Where because essentially you do the ground. And then you do the space bit. But if you fail the space bit. You go back to the ground. Um, and But it's a full reset. And you basically just keep fighting. I've had matches that last multiple uh, ground space. Ground space. Ground space. Either going between ground. And then their ship. Ground. Then your ship. Then ground. Then their ship. And... Yeah, I think it's been changed up now, so you have a time limit, and also it's um, persistent damage. That's what I've read anyway, but we'll um, have a little quick look. I think we're going to wrap the video up shortly anyway, but I just want to show you the uh, this spaceship. 
because why not? And what are we going to pick? Well, I do find that a good old sniper is probably in order. Oh, what I've also found is that if you put your shield generators on the inside, they tend to work better from stopping the uh, clones getting in. Just a thing for the uh, Trade Federation there. So we're going to go for this sniper. We're going to change it over to the Honkin sniper. I don't have the really big Honkin sniper, but this is big and Honkin. And uh, that will do us quite nicely. Uh, my star card equip is all kinds of wrong, but you know what? I just want to get into the fight. Let's just go. So we're going to go over to this fella here and we will go forward. So we have uh, five minutes to uh, take A, B. I don't know if we have to take both. It just says override door controls. I don't know if we have to take both, but we'll see. So I'm going to get probably in this corner and um, see if I can get some cheeky shots in. Cheeky shots obviously being the best kind of shots. Are there enemies over there? Um, I don't know. Let's just get behind these barrels. Well, that hurt him. Um, so if they're going to come that way, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to run in and try and capture this thing. There's that down. Uh, what I'll do is place a cheeky thermal detonator on there. Actually, it's not a thermal detonator. It's a... Uh... There we go. Uh, it's a... It's a... Ah, it's a shotgun to the face. Yeah, Vanguard. Yeah, that was just a... Do I play an Arc Trooper? Yeah, I play an Arc Trooper. That was just a cheeky sort of... Uh... Detonator. Claymore, essentially, isn't it? Uh, everybody's in combat. Oh, come on. Uh, what we've got we've got Mannequin Skywalker, we've got Officer, and we've got the Assault. Anyway, we're going to charge in. We have uh, one of my favourite uh, troopers here, which is the Arc Trooper. Obviously, the best the best thing you can get is a droid de car. Uh, nobody's matches for droid de cars. Oh, that guy's in the smoke. Uh, that doesn't really concern me. I'm just going to lob that in. And um, Oh, that's a mall. But while he's dealing with me... Right, see if I can get in with my big shot. Nah, dead. too much dead. Too much dead. Too much death. Um, yeah, we've got the Arc Trooper, which is really cool. Let's go for the Jet Trooper, because we have a rocket launcher. Um, and we also have uh, the Droid Dakar and other such things. And the new one, which is coming out, the Clone Commando from that game that a lot of people claim to play, but haven't, uh, including myself. Well, actually, I've never claimed to play um, Republic Commando, but that guy can claim to uh, eat a rocket. There we go. And I will over here and oh that's a bit some that's some uh, neo stuff going on there what what okay fair enough oh that's the bad thing bye <laughs> see what i mean if you get a couple of shots into the back of a hero they're not going to last long and now i'm going to sit with this thing and if that door moves a Fento meter, it's going to get <laughs> essentially a Panzer Shrek into it. Actually, no, I think I'm just going to hit the droid de car and then fly off because I'm getting shot to bits. And uh, let's go over here as well. And we have an override that is now successful. Excellent. So, destroy the cooling vent, which is going to be from the doors back here. And let's go up here. And I really don't want to be the first through the door, but it looks like that is exactly what's happened. Hi, Yoda. Ooh, that was a bit of a flick. Bring the Six Siege training coming into play here. And, um... <laughs> the best kind of... Best kind of room clearance with a... Sh <laughs> with a rocket launcher. <laughs> yes, when you have a essentially a Panzerfaust, um, it's not ideal for room clearance. Oh, okay, it might now be a bit more ideal for room clearance. Sorry, mate. <laughs> right, you ought to get in there, mate. Come on, that's your that's your thing. <laughs> um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be a bit cheeky here. And oh, no, I'm not. Bye. Right, I'm going to go past here. And I'm just going to I'm just causing a distraction here. I will die, but it doesn't matter because waving past like that forces them to turn around and shoot me, which means hopefully the rest of the team can get in. Let's uh, pick that up again and try it once more. Okay, so let's go up and we need to destroy that. Why doesn't it show me where it is? There we go. It's back there. Got yeah. Right, so Unidentified enemy on the jet there. If you get shot in air, you uh, go all over the place and there must be a way this way. In fact, I know there will be. No, there's not. <laughs> Confidence wind. <laughs> as soon as I finish that sentence. Right, so, um, hang on. Well, it's something. Um. Oh, 
Right, so here we go. I'm going to be a bit cheeky. Now then. And we're going down. And G. No, we're already capping it anyway. No, we're not. Ugh, close. Or do we just have to shoot it now? That's a question. It has changed. But that's the way to get in. That's the way to get in. We just need a cheeky rush. Uh, but we've only got two and a half minutes to deal with it now. Um, so. E. Yeah. Yeah, you just shoot it. Right, okay, now we know. Uh, I don't know whether you shoot the console or you shoot that, but I'm getting points for stuff, so that's fine. Uh, not enough points for any of those, so... Maybe a... Maybe... Maybe a Chewy clone? Yeah, we'll go with a Wookiee, why not? Um, the reason is because we've started right at the back and we're nowhere near where we need to get to. So two minutes in order to destroy that. I don't know if we're making any great progress. Also, haven't now seen... I haven't seen recently, anyway, any of our heroes... And there can only really be one place, uh, well, there should only really be one place uh, on that objective. Although it looks like it is taking some damage, so that is good. And looks like we're moving forward here. Let's just cheeky, cheeky grenade, cheeky grenade, you never know, you never know. Uh, yeah, that, that was a cheeky grenade, that was very cheeky and also worked. One thing I found about... Um Is he even trying to hit me? Yeah, I don't think that's going to work out too well for you, sir. Right, here we go. Destroy the cooling vent. I don't know if I'm doing anything here. Uh, I'm going to fling a nade at it just to see what happens. Nah, or I'll just die. Looks like something's happening. Um, I'm not entirely sure about this one. But anyway, uh, one minute to go. So we're not going to do this. So I think we will pretty much wrap it up. Uh, we're not going to go that way. It's a locked blast door. Ralph, we've got a Yoda coming in. Okay. I'm just going to try and get around here just to annoy them a bit. Uh, there we go. There's a hero over there. I don't know what it was. Couldn't find out. Oh, I really shouldn't have found out. My mistake. I'm sorry, Grievous. I'm sorry. <laughs> that has been a bit of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, yeah. If you played it, I think the, the summary is, if you played it back in there and you enjoyed it but didn't like some of the choices that were made in terms of the monetization stuff, then you may want to give it another chance. If you have never played it and you just want a Star Wars arcade shooter that isn't uh, pay to win, oh, that's Bosk, um, then yeah... Again, you might want to give it a go. I am thoroughly enjoying it, which is the main thing. I hope you can tell that in my voice that I'm just genuinely enjoying the game. It's just good fun. Um, you do get a bit punch drunk, I find. You know, after maybe two or three rounds, maybe even a couple of hours, it's like, it's very all in your face. Uh, you know, it's not. I wouldn't say it's something you would go for, you know, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, although I have. Um, but yeah. I'm enjoying it. You might too. Links in the description. <laughs> I think that's the best summary. Looking forward to see what they bring to it. And I'm really glad they've sort of pulled it back from basically uh, the brink of death. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.